like I said, guys, I'm going to run you through how this price action pans out and then and how I sort of manage it throughout. So, as you see here, we kind of got offered over from 17s. We had someone clip down quite aggressively from 16s to 15s, and now 14s gone offered. Someone clipped down, we've gone offered 14s, okay? So, for me, like, my risk is really kind of now price action based. So I'm just looking to try and maximize. I feel like I've got, you know, a decent clip on now. And what I'm going to look to do is kind of look to attack through tens. Now that I've got some sort of core cool position, it's kind of squeezed up. I'm back on side. I'm back, you know, with a decent entry. And now I'm just looking to start kind of, you know, gauge the price action and attack through this low if it's actually going to sort of break. And, and I can kind of, um, you know, maximize the trade as i see it should kind of come down to this sort of area i think it was 80 freeze was my last target so so notice how we sort of seen these aggressive clips from down so we've seen someone trade 452 lots into 12s and what i'm kind of going to be paying attention to is how we trade you know so when i see kind of reloading like we're doing i notice a small clip up so when i'm how I'm looking here at the moment and again someone trades another 356 lots down into 12s what I want to be paying attention to like once we trade back below here 11s is remembering so is remembering how we churned here right so these 12s are really important for me now like these should kind of hold if, if, if this if we kind of get a clip back into 12s and and you know and a reload see this is kind of like a telltale sign as to you know this shouldn't really be happening like someone's just clipped down huge size into 12s and then 36 lots lift 12 okay so this is kind of one of the first red flags as to you know that you need to keep your wrist tight and you need to kind of um stay true to what you're seeing on the ladder you can't be kind of you know averaging above here and, and trying to be clever and trying to sort of you know you know get away with stuff which you shouldn't be doing so 12s again have just gone offered 11s was my next kind of reference point of reference that I wanted to see sort of aggressive price action through. Notice how we kind of actually do get a firm reload. We have 128 lots to trade down. We go off it, okay. Notice how I'm hovering over 10s now. So I'm looking to kind of attack aggressively through 10s. Um, you know, the minute I start to see size come down, so we have someone pay down 320 lots into 10s. I'm going to add into 10s. Notice how we then, so we had someone lifts then 341 lots into 10 okay so for me this first this is looking I, I quite like how this is traded out now i've got a nice position on in terms of price so you know where my stop should be is above 12 so i should really be scratching you know most of my size here at 13s um if we go big bid back above 12s which is nice so i've got a really nice position Notice how 10s again, so I'm another 124 lots into 10s. We we trade down into 9s. Notice the reload. Again, notice how I'm hovering over the offer. Notice the reload. So again, I felt this was really, really convincing price action. I liked how we were trading down in this area. And that's how now we've gone bid, okay? So we've gone bid at 10s. My stop should really be above 12s. I should, I should really be paying up most of my size here. So I just want to show you how I kind of manage the, the size whilst, you know, I'm on side and then how I try and, you know, how I manage it when I go off side. So again, 10s and then 11s goes offered, goes bid, sorry, on 78 lots. Notice how we pull the offer. The offer goes thin here, 12s. 87 lots take out 12s. So now really I should be looking to get out, okay? So I believe I start paying up pretty quick. Notice the reload. So notice how the first test back to 12s. We have a nice reload. So again, this is kind of why it's so important to know where you sort of identify churn and pivots in the ladder, right? You know your higher time technicals and whatever. Now it's just trying to like, you know, get the most pinpoint execution and tightest risk reward. So when 12s go off it again, I, get, I feel comfortable in the trade. I feel like this is, you know... This is exactly what I want to see. Um, we've had a really nice big accumulation between this sort of 9s to 12s area. Uh, we had that kind of an aggressive initiative starting up from 16s, coming down. We had someone passively reloading 12s and then clip down. So for me, I, I feel like this is kind of nice compression down to lower prices. Um, if it is going to go, it should kind of break with some conviction. 